section of day 5 this program on research paper writing and ip rights sponsored by aict in new delhi organized by ag patel polytechnic institute solapur and in collaboration with iste new delhi on behalf of ag patel polytechnic institute i devanshi zaveri lecturer in mechanical engineering department i welcome today's speaker mr hari prasad matral dr m a chogule coordinator and principal of polytechnic wing mr j m jaketia vice principal and mr s k mohite head of the mechanical engineering department my colleagues and dear participants it's a great pleasure for me i get an opportunity to announce about today's guest speaker on aicte iste induction program mr hari prasad matral his topic is patentability and non patentable inventions so here is the profile of honorable sir mr hari prasad matral sir is currently working as an engineering associate 3 patent analyst in johnson's control india pune he has formerly worked as a research associate at mumbai and jaipur he has worked on variety of projects services in the span of last 5 years he has rendered services such as patentability search freedom to operate invalidity search landscape analysis infringement search claim chart mapping and state of art search etc if we look at his career work it includes the tasks such as client interaction understanding client requirement conducting inventor interviews report presentation search queries presentation search and analysis on paid databases like derwent innovations and many more in his educational field he has completed master of technology in mechatronics during the year 2015 from vit university chennai india he had completed bachelor of engineering in mechanical engineering from shivaji university we are really lucky to have a multi talented speaker having a huge success in, in his educational career but due to short period of time and hearing his wonderful words on this topic is more advantageous so without taking more time let's hear from his desk i request again all the participants to keep your microphones and videos off during the session and sir's topic is patentability and non patentable inventions sir you may proceed now thank you thank you ma'am thank you for your kind uh, uh, introduction <clears throat> today i'll be uh, focusing on uh, two things uh, one is the uh, patentability side of invention and the uh, inventions which are non patentable so directly uh, going ahead we'll see the outline of today's uh, discussion uh, where uh, we'll be uh, going through brief introduction of uh, what are actually intellectual property rights and what are different kinds of intellectual property rights uh then we'll be see we'll we'll see that what is exactly a patent and uh, the entire presentation will be uh, so, uh will be having a context of uh, geography because uh, intellectual property rights are uh, geography based uh, uh rights so we will be looking at uh, united united states uh, patent laws we'll be looking at european patent laws and we'll be looking at indian patent laws so since uh, the the law constructed or uh, the law developed uh, by different geographies they will be having a different meaning and they will be having a different boundaries uh, if you see so uh, when we talk about united states scenario we'll be talking about uh, inventions patentable in in united states and the geography uh, and the areas uh, geographical areas possesses possessed by united states then uh, the same goes to non patentable inventions uh, then uh, your european patent laws which are uh, only used for uh, european unions uh, the countries for the country members uh, of european union then the indian patent law which is basically uh, if you see broadly uh, it is derived from both of the uh, patent laws uh, european and uh, united uh, united states so uh, what are actually patent uh, intellectual property rights when we uh, whenever there is an idea uh, generated uh, that has to be protected so uh, each country in the uh, each country has their own set of laws uh, in order to protect 
uh, such ideas so uh, basically intellectual property rights are, uh, are basically conglomeration of various laws uh, the ideas or the intellectual uh, property generated in the form of uh, novels or in the form of pictures in the form of artwork or in the form of uh, technical invention or in the form of uh, 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 in the form of uh, a, a formula or, or a composition or a process so all these types of uh, ideas uh, they are protected and they are they are covered by these uh, property rights so it is basically a right to protect protect the idea generated by inventor uh, and it is uh, uh, and the right is given by the government uh, with uh, uh, by by uh, by constructing a different uh, set of rights so uh, the idea can be of any of as i said idea can be of anything it can be a painting artwork novel a logo a tagline uh, it, it can be of anything but it can be protected under the different set of laws so depending upon the depending upon the idea generated the laws are differing so here we can see uh, there are different types of ip rights and uh, first three types are uh, first two types are patent uh, patent uh, patents uh, third one is a copyright fourth trade secret and trademark now here uh, we haven't considered the geography because uh, in india we do not have a protection for trade trade secrets the uh, according to the patent act 1970 we do not have the uh, protection for trade secret but the protection for trade secret is there in united states so the, the that difference that minor ch those changes are there in the uh, in, in the each and every country so according to united states uh, uh, pa uh, patent uh, act th section 35 they they'll be having uh, they'll be having a, a specific uh, set of rules for trade secret uh, apart from that the patent patents are basically divided into two two types utility and design now utility and design are broadly uh, broadly uh, covered by most of the countries in the entire world so but there is there is one more category which is called as the plant patents they they are only covered in united states so utility patents are basically general technical inventions which are uh, you know, let's say for example it can be of a, a smartphone it can be of a, uh, a manufacturing process it can be of a, a material composition alloy composition or there will be there can be many examples of this type so they have a protection uh, of uh, generally of 20 years uh, then they will be having uh, from the date of filing then they will be having the maintenance fees so that may uh, differ by one or two years so design patents are basically uh, ornamental uh, ornamental design uh, patents basically they, they if you want to uh, uh, protect a specific uh, design features or specific design of uh, any any ornament or any any, any um, uh, subject or any uh, equipment that then uh, th that uh, that can be protected using uh, design patents so the design uh, unique shape and the surfaces the design features all those uh, all those things are covered the design entire design configuration of that uh, particular uh, product uh, can be uh, protected using design patents and it, it lasts for uh, 14 years then you have copyright copyrights uh, are basically you, you might be aware of it uh, a, a, any uh, any publication or any any book which is published by a set uh, 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 authorized publication they'll be having a line stating about the uh, copyrights uh, all rights reserved under copyrights and there will be a, a, an year so uh, that's a general practice which is followed in india and uh, accordingly in entire world so uh, books photos artworks they are, they are protected uh, they are protected under this copyright law and they'll be having uh, of uh, around seven, 70 years uh, uh, plus the age of the uh, author all these things are considered uh, uh, during the uh, during the pro prosecution process so then there'll be there, there is a state, uh, trade secret uh, trade secret is basically the formulas and uh, um, you can uh, just to give you an example um, the formula of coca-cola it is protected under the trade secret uh, uh, rights 
so uh, the uh, the parent company uh, has that formula and it is protected under the trade secret rights so basically trade secret uh, is implemented in united states uh, where uh, the patent laws are considered to be one of the uh, broadest of all then there is a trademark uh, logos uh, then taglines uh, and combination of logos and taglines names all these things are uh, uh, protected under uh, trademark uh, rights so or you might be aware of uh, nike uh, uh, swoosh which is uh, uh, very famous uh, and uh, whenever there is a violation or someone copies that uh, logo uh, and uses it uh, use, uh, use it in their own product and uh, try to sell that product then a nike uh, can sue the infringer uh, where, because he has violated the nike's trademark uh, right so that's how these things uh, uh, are executed in uh, market so when if we see the intellectual property rights and the engineering they are basically uh, uh, two sides of a coin here uh, uh, one side is legal and the other side is technical and both are important in order to uh, sustain uh, in the market and in order to uh, uh, pro develop ahead so out of all those four categories will be focusing on patent and the things which are patentable and things which are non patentable so before that we need to understand what is patent so patent is basically an exclusive right so uspto has a different definition which says that it is a, a property right given to the inventor issued by uspto so uh, uh, uspto is an, a government federal body which uh, uh, takes care of all us uh, patent and trademark related uh, uh, activities so it is basically a right to exclude from uh, making using and offering to sell uh, a specific invention uh, and it is it also excludes uh, others to import that specific invention without the permission or without paying the, the uh, specific charges so it is basically excluding others from using it making it and offering to sell it so it it it, it makes this particular uh, patent as a exclusive right given to an inventor inventor invents the idea hence that specific uh, right is given to the inventor so in whenever inventor has a, a, a specific idea or a, he thinks that he is it is new that information is uh, that information is shared with the uspto in the form of application in the form of patent uh, uh, pro provisional application of patent then that uh, and the prosecution starts from there once the grant is given to that patent then the user or the inventor can enforce that right and uh, of right of excluding others whenever the pat uh, whenever the patent gets granted in the during the prosecution process he cannot enforce the patent so basically uh, apart from the us scenario there is uh, uh, the impasse has also its own definition it says that uh, it is a statutory right given to the uh, given to the inventor or uh, here in in our case uh, here in our case they have uh, it is said that uh, inventor is uh, regarded as the patentee and uh, uh, then uh, the patentee can exclude others from making using and selling and importing the patented product and or process so more or less the definitions uh, of a patent in uspto europe and india are same but uh, and at the same time uh, they are also specifically talking uh, talking about the excluding others from selling it making it and using it uh, i hope uh, so far uh, uh, am i i am audible and i am clear uh, does anyone have any doubts am i audible yes yes Okay, thank you. Uh, yes, sir, you are audible. Okay, okay. So uh, I haven't been getting any response uh, for a long time, so I was confused. I thought I got disconnected. No, sir, you are audible. Yeah. Okay, sure. So uh, I'm moving ahead uh, with uh, the US scenario. So when we talk about the patentable invention, uh, inventions, then uh, 
we need to understand that uh, the ideas or the processes in any any new thing which is which uh, inventor thinks that uh, it is it is new and it has not been implemented in the history then that can, uh, uh, that invention uh, that process that composition of, uh, of matter that can be paid, it is patentable so uh, according to 35 us section 101 it, the patentable inventions are defined as whoever whoever invents or discovers any new and useful process here these things are important whenever whenever the, he says uh, whenever the definition says useful it has to have industrial application without the utility of the product, uh, of the uh, idea it cannot be patentable so uh, we can we'll see the conditions of patentability in the next slide but we'll continue with the definition now for now uh, so useful process machine manufacture or composition of matter all these things if if someone invents and it is new and or it is an improvement of uh, a useful improvement of their uh, of the previous one so here existing process should be uh, 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 existing uh, there should be an additional uh, 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 an improvement to the existing process there should be an improvement in the existing machine there should be an improvement in the uh, exist uh, existing manufacturing uh, method then only uh, then only it can be considered as the pat uh, patent so apart from that uh, according to us uh, us uh, section 101 there are three categories of patents basically utility patents design patents and plant patents utility patents are uh, are the patents which are, which include the manufacturing of an article uh, manufacturing or, or process of an article a composition of a matter uh, all these things all these technical inventions are uh, covered under utility patents now design patents design patents basically granted through granted to the inventors who will create a new original ornamental design or uh, who will uh, generate new the design configuration or design features of an article uh, uh, which which is supposed to be manufactured so that design that design configuration is protected using design patents then plant patents uh, the uh, inventor who invents or discovers the uh, plants which are distinct unique uh, with the, with a uh, new features and with a new variety of a plant and produced by us actually so the the plants that we see around are generally uh, uh, are produced uh, are are considered to be the produce of the nature but anything which is synthesized a, a plant which is synthesized and which is a new which is of new variety and it is produced asexually it is considered those patents can, those inventions can be uh, patentable according to us uh, us law and they are considered as the plant patents now now if we see uh, we have seen the uh, patentable inventions patentable inventions utility design and plant now the conditions of patentability when whenever those uh, those ideas or those inventions are generated they should uh, fulfill these three conditions first one is the novelty and uniqueness second uh, non obviousness third is application or utility now whenever say, when i say novelty he uh, a person shall uh, that a person shall uh, have the uh, idea or the invention which is very new, unique very new and it should be of uh, it should not be of a duplication of the earlier process or the uh, extension of an or a mere extension of an earlier process so whenever these laws are drafted they are drafted such that they are they are drafted in a, in a negative tone where they are they, they will say that key uh, the no, uh, where the novelty is and uniqueness is explained in such, in, in a negative uh, manner saying that which is not uh, uh, stating that the inventions which are not patentable the laws are drafted in such that uh, in such sentences so the inventions which are not patentable uh, they are defined very clearly and rest of the things uh, rest of the things which are not covered by that definition they are considered to be patentable so according to 102 pre iia uh, the claimed invention was patented described in a printed publication or 
a person shall be entitled to a patent unless unless it is already claimed already patented or already described so as i said unless it is already described it cannot be patent uh, it is uh, uh, unless it is already dis already described it is given uh, the idea or the invention has is given as the uh, given a patent right so then they have uh, spoken about the effective filing that the first applic uh, the application which is um, uh, given to a us patent office uh, and that particular date is considered as the date of filing then there is uh, one more uh, uh, section uh, the claimed invention was described in a uh, in a manner uh, described in a patent issued under section 101 or in an application for patent published or deemed published under section 122 uh, in which the patent application or application as the case may be names other uh, names other uh, another inventor and was effectively filed before the effective filing date of the claimed invention whenever uh, if a certain invention is already filed with the another inventor that cannot be uh, 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 that cannot be considered as the uh, patentable invention. So here, ev in any every manner, the idea, the invention, uh, has to be a new, novel. It should not be an it sh There should not be a prior art or a prior patent, uh, which which uh, which is explaining the invent uh, features of the uh, new idea. So here, novelty and uniqueness is the first and most important condition of the uh, patentability second one is the non-obviousness here uh, in this uh, non-obviousness process a patent uh, for a claimed invention may not be obtained such that uh, the person who is skilled in the art the person who, who uh, the ordinary person who is who has having uh, that specific skill uh, if uh, he tries to uh, he he has done it already he has invented it already then it should not be uh, uh, the invention should not uh, i find it as a obvious thing let's say for example um, uh, a combination of a cup and a saucer so uh, a saucer uh, or or a, a bottle and a cap so uh, a cap cannot uh, can be an obvious invention where uh, uh, a general cap I'm not talking about a cap with a different uh, uh, design configurations or features with locking mechanism and all. general concept of cap cannot be a novel uh, a bottle which 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 will be having a, an any type of uh, uh, any type of closure on top of its opening can be considered as the cap so so a cap uh, the general idea of a cap or a general concept of a cap cannot be considered as the non obvious so it cannot be patented general idea if if there is a unique feature uh, added to the cap like like locking mechanism or like uh, a different set of uh, grooves or different set of uh, uh, holding mechanism or a grip mechanism then that can be uh, considered as a utility patent but general idea of a cap cannot be patented because it's a, it, it is not a non obvious thing it is an obvious thing obvious thing because it is just an enclosure uh, on top of the opening of a bottle so uh, this is the each and every invention should be a non obvious an examiner uh, goes through the examination process where he identifies whether uh, uh, this particular criteria has been met by the invention or not the third one uh, third uh, condition of uh, patentability is application any product any invention which is developed by an inventor has to have the uh, application industrial application or uh, real time application so uh, this this specific uh, thing has to have the uh, uh, it should be an useful uh, improvement and it should be a, it, it should be a useful process so uh, the even uh, whenever these three criteria, all these three criteria are met by an invention, then only uh, the invention is considered as the patentable.
now we can we'll see that uh, non patentable inventions what are non patentable inventions in united states scenario we we are talking about uh, the united states scenario which is considered to be the uh, uh, broadest of all uh, the patent laws are uh, drafted in such a way that uh, they are uh, they are broader they co uh, they cover lot of ground they cover lot of area of areas of invention or areas of research in order to uh, uh, protect lot of uh, uh, ideas the the uh, patent you and united states patent laws are drafted very broadly so the inventions which are uh, the inventions which are not uh, non functional and descriptive material like let's say for example inventions which are con covered under the copyrights law they are not patentable uh, to, to be uh, generic Uh, if we and if we see the inventions which are ideas which are covered by copyrights or trademark they are not in uh, they are, they cannot be patentable so uh, apart from that electronic uh, electromagnetic signals or the laws of nature which is very important laws of nature scientific methods uh, 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 mathematical uh, form few formulations few set of formulations uh, abstract ideas all these things uh law, uh laws of nature like gravity um, or 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 uh, laws of nature uh, like uh, like motion uh, the three laws of uh, three laws uh, three laws of motion they are not patentable so uh, the the uh, laws of nature from which the the idea can be derived the basic uh, basic fundamental uh, law that cannot be patentable so uh, these uh, these are the few areas uh, uh, where uh, the ideas uh, these are the few areas from which if the idea is generated then it cannot be patentable or it cannot be patentable uh, cannot be protected under patent patents act then apart from that um, there is uh, uh, there there are certain in, there are certain in, uh, ideas or inventions which are depending dependent on atomic energy or they are uh, they are surrounding or surrounded by uh, they are landing on the surrounding area of atomic energy uh, they are uh, related to atomic energy all those ideas all those uh, uh, all those inventions are not patentable uh, doesn't matter uh, it it has whether it has a uh, uh, industrial utility or non obviousness or uniqueness they are not patentable uh according to the section uh, uh, section 11 of the act uh, there there is an uh, atomic uh, energy treaty uh, uh, signed by uh, united states with me, almost uh, uh, all of the uh, almost covering maximum countries uh, of uh, the world uh, according to which uh, there is one section where uh, this particular provision is made where uh, uh, the uh, where the inventions are uh, related or the ideas related to the atomic energy or depending on the atomic energy they are not patentable so this was the uh, united uh, states scenario uh, there there are not many examples of uh, non patentable inventions in united states because uh, it is considered to be the one of the broadest uh, uh, patent laws covering a uh, lot of ground Uh, and uh, trying to uh, make sure that uh, pro every idea or generated on the soil of united states can be protected using the patent law uh, before moving on to the european law uh, if anyone has any doubts please uh, feel free to ask okay uh, i hope uh, I'm, i i was clear uh now uh, when we uh, enter the united uh, uh i guess someone's mic is i guess uh, someone's mic is uh, unmuted uh, i request them to please mute them thank you yeah uh, uh when we move on to the uh, european geography uh, as everyone knows that european uh, countries are uh, they are they are considered as a union 
uh, even though there is a, a european law which is applicable to uh, member countries uh, the member countries also have their own uh, set of laws where uh, they go through different criterias and different uh, prosecution uh, process and uh, then they give issue the rights to uh, a particular assignee uh, in that specific geography so uh, according to article 52 uh, section 1 uh, the criteria or the definition of patentable invention is similar to the uh, european uh, similar to the U us scenario where you, european patents will be granted based on the uh, novelty and new features or the novelty and new idea of uh, invention then there there is an involvement of inventive step now if we see the distinction between the united states scenario and uh, united states uh, uspto laws and uh, european law the non obvious uh, non obviousness condition which is defined by united states uh, is uh, interpreted as a uh, inventive step in uh, in uh, in european uh, laws so whenever uh, whenever i say inventive step that is considered to be the uh, uh, non obviousness feature of united states law so whenever uh, the idea and the invention which is generated by the inventor and it is not an obvious thing to the existing already existing prior art or it should not be an obvious thing to the person who is skilled in the art ordinary person who is skilled in the in that particular art so it should be a non obvious thing it should be an um, a new thing then only um, it it can be patentable in the uh, in the Euro uh, european uh, countries and apart from uh, these two uh, uh, these two step uh, these two criteria then there is one more criteria which is an industrial application and uh, utility uh, so novelty uh, inventive step and industrial application these three are the basic uh, uh, pillars of uh, patentable inventions according to a uh, um, you know, european patent law there then uh, if we move on to the uh, non non patentable inventions where there are different set sets of uh, non patentable inventions where uh, article 52 uh, paragraph 2 uh, has a different subsections uh, subsection a b c like that so each subsection covers an each area of non patentable inventions where uh, subsection a covers the discoveries on scientific theories and mathematical methods uh, they are not patentable according to european patent law uh, discoveries which are discoveries are basically the uh, uh, identification of uh, things which are already there or uh, 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 scientific theories uh, which are uh, which are which are which can be uh, uh, dependent on the technical uh, concepts or non technical concepts uh, they are not uh, patentable then mathematical methods or the derivations which are uh, uh, which are uh, developed they are not patentable according to europe uh, european scenario then there is an aesthetic creations uh, then there are schemes rules the methods for performing mental acts uh, so various uh, uh, mentalists which we which uh, which, uh, which are uh, uh, implementing various ment uh, acts uh, uh, or which which are uh, considered to be the uh, part of an entertainment uh, area or entertainment field uh, then the rules and the schemes uh generally general implemented uh, rules and the schemes in the administration process or in the uh, in the enforcement process of a laws then those things are not patentable in uh, uh, in in the european uh, according to european patent law uh, the rules and the schemes that uh, while doing a business uh, those things are also not patentable in the uh, european patent law now uh, presentations of information so uh, here uh, there can be a thin line between uh, uh, presentations of information and copyrights so uh, the, the artistic uh, uh, the artistic uh, 
ideas or the uh, artistic uh, uh, concepts or the artwork uh, and the pre uh, presentations of uh, different information let's say uh, for example infographics so infographics and uh, the artwork both have uh, different uh, purposes and both have different functions now infographics is a presentations of information but in a way uh, artwork or a painting is also conveying certain information or a certain concept or certain purpose but bo both have different set of uh, both have different way of presentations so one artwork is considered under the copyrights uh, law uh, and it can be protected but infographics cannot be considered under co co uh, copyrights law because uh, or it cannot be patented so then comp computer implemented in inventions and programs and algorithms here uh, software programs and algorithms cannot be directly patented uh, patented in according to european law uh, in united states they they can be patented but they are uh, presented as the systems uh, as a part of a system and as a as a part of a process and uh, they are uh, they are patented again uh, in the in in the process of prosecution uh, step of uh, that particular uh, invention has to go through the different uh, set of uh, examiners uh, uh, examiners uh, interviews and examiners uh, remarks then only the uh, software and uh, algorithm patents or program patents are uh, pay, pay, uh, filed and uh, they are granted in the united states then uh, medical treatments uh, performed on human being uh, are not patentable in europe uh, canada and india and new zealand uh, here uh, we need to understand medical treatments uh, are uh, 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 medical treatments performed on humans are patentable in europe uh, are patentable sorry are patentable in us and australia because uh, as i said a uh, us uh, tried to cover a lot of ground uh, in order to protect their ideas uh, that are developed on the us soil uh, that's why the patent uh, patent laws drafted in united states are very uh, broad uh, and they are widely uh, widely spread they are uh, medical treatments performed on humans and animals they are protected in the united states but uh, they are not uh, pat uh, patentable uh, in the europe canada india and new zealand now uh, we'll come to the uh, indian patent law uh, in the indian uh, uh, indian patent uh, law we have uh, defined uh, the entire patents uh, act 1970 into several chapters and there are almost uh, 100 plus sections which are covering various areas of procedure and uh, which are covering various areas of uh, drafting and uh, conditions of inventions uh, uh, for the patentability and non patentability so ac according to uh, patentable inventions uh, the uh, uh, indian uh, laws has law has defined uh, uh, main three categories where uh, it has to be a very novel and unique uh, uh, invention or unique idea where uh, a inventor has to put an Uh, uh an effort to identify whether it is already present in the uh, prior art uh, and then it has to be uh, if it is present in the prior art then he, he has to develop new features and add new features to the idea so that it it can be made novel and unique then the second criteria is inventive step the inventive step uh and uh um, even uh, when we consider the inventive step uh, in the indian scenario it is uh, it is defined a little bit different than the uh, european patent laws it has a different context than the european patent law in european patent law when uh, inventive step uh, is uh, considered uh, it it is considered as the uh, you know, non obviousness of the feature of the invention but when it is considered in indian law according to indian patent law <clears throat> inventive step has a different meaning the inventive step is considered as the feature of an invention which involves 
uh, a technical advancement there has to be an advancement in the uh, in the in, uh, in the invention or in the idea there has to be an advancement uh, feature advanced feature uh, in the idea or the invention uh, compared to the existing knowledge or the earlier knowledge so uh, it can be uh, that advancement can be of any magnitude that advancement can be of any amount but as long as uh, there is an advancement or the additional features are uh, present uh, when it is compa when uh, compared to an existing uh, knowledge or existing idea or the existing uh, um, concept uh, that is considered as the uh, inventive step so uh, then there should be an uh, industrial uh, it should also have the industrial application uh, all uh, all the countries uh, uh, so far we have seen us scenario and uh, european and indian patent law all of them have uh, two criteria common which is uh, novelty uh, and the second one is the industrial application so every idea which is generated by anyone in or any citizen of that specific country should have these two criteria compulsory then non obviousness in the us patent law and the inventive step in the european patent law these two have will be examined by the examiner according to the uh, different uh, uh, conditions in the execution process uh, in the prosecution process in, in inventive step in the india uh, indian patent law inventive step in the indian patent law is considered to be the advancement of the existing process so uh, there is a slight difference in understanding of inventive step in this uh, particular scenario now uh, there is one more uh, criteria in uh, indian patent law which is considered to be the section 4 of the patents act uh, section 4 according to the section 4 of the patents act uh, uh, section 3 and section 4 of the patents act there there are there are different examples or there are different uh, areas where uh, uh, where if invention lands it is not patentable so those uh, areas we will go through one by one uh, separately uh, separately in the next slide non patentable inventions so uh, in the chapter 2 uh, section 3 uh, non patent in patentable inventions are covered where uh, subsection a says establish laws establish natural laws which are not uh, they are not covered they are not patentable subsection b says uh, primary and intended use of that particular idea should or uh, primary or, or intended use or the commercial exploitation of which could be contrary to the public order or morality that means uh, any idea which is Uh, which has an intention or the primary motive uh, of commercial exploitation or creating a monopoly or or, or considered as uh, uh, consider the uh, situation of evergreening of any idea uh, it is awarded according to indian patent law so uh, section 3 subsection b says uh, commercial exploitation of uh, uh, an any idea which is intended for the commercial exploitation uh, or its intended use is for the com uh, commercial exploitation or which can create the public disorderliness so that uh, and uh, it can uh, cause prejudice to the human animal or plant life or the health or to the environment anything which can uh, disrupt the public order or it is which is uh, generated for the commercial exploitation uh, those ideas those inventions are not patentable according to the indian patent act then subsection c says uh, uh, the mere discovery of scientific principle or the formulation of uh, an abstract abstract theory uh, or discovery of any living or non living substances now when uh this this subsection c is uh, uh, is covered in european patent act and it is also covered in the us patent act even though uh, us patent act is considered to be the broadest 
uh, they have this particular clause where uh, scientific discovery or scientific theories uh, are not patentable. Now, uh, subsection D says a uh, new form of known substance which does not result in enhancement of known efficacy. Mere discovery of uh, any new property or new use of known substance and mere use of known process, machine, apparatus, unless such known process results in a new product or employs at least one new reactant. Whenever I, whenever, if, when we try to interpret this particular subsection, uh, it is actually talking about uh, the, uh, it is actually talking about the chemicals or the salts or the compounds, uh, which are actually, de which are deriv uh, derivatives of existing one. Uh, so if if any idea or invention it, which is basically an enhanced um, uh, as a is a new form of existing one or new derivative of the existing one it cannot be patentable it has to have some um, it has to have some uh, enhancement that's why the second category of the uh, second uh, criteria of the patentable invention is there so inventive step Whenever there is an inventive step in the idea or invention, then only the patentable in, uh, patentability of the uh, invention is uh, uh, possible in Indian, according to Indian patent law. So what they have, uh, uh, the um, subsection D uh, says that there has, if it is a de mere derivative of any existing product, then it can, uh, cannot be in uh, patentable if it has if if the uh, if uh, if we want to uh, pat uh, if you want to patent that uh, derivative there has the derivative has to be uh, has to have advanced feature or advancement technical advancement in uh, in that particular derivative from the uh, when it is compared to with the existing one so then only the second criteria of the inventive step is met according to patent law and then that invention becomes patentable. Uh, if we see this uh, uh, this subsection with uh, this exam uh, following example, esters, salts, uh, different ethers, polymorphs, metabolites, pure form of uh, substance, uh, the particle size or uh, isomers and mixtures of isomers, uh, these combinations and their derivatives, they are not uh, patentable. Uh, uh, unless there is an advancement in any area, uh, any technical area of that uh, particular uh, entity. Then subsection C, uh, where it says the uh, mixturing of uh, 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 the mixturing of uh, or the aggregation of the properties of components. Uh, let's say, for example, the, the, the common example which we can say is uh, uh, the example of lemonade where uh, the combination of uh, properties of salt, properties of uh, lemon and uh, properties of sugar and water are combined together to create a, a lemonade. So uh, mixing of uh, entities and uh, aggregation of the properties and then uh, offset uh, and creating a new product or creating a new idea or an invention that cannot be patentable according to Indian Patent Act. <clears throat> Then uh, mere arrangement or rearrangement or duplication of known devices, uh, each functioning independently of one another in a no, known way. Um, it is associated to the arrangement or the uh, uh, configuration, technical configuration of uh, various existing equipments. And we are, if we are changing the technical configuration and trying to get an uh, output, then uh, the configuration or the uh, the idea or the that particular invention is not patentable. Uh, methods of uh, various methods of agriculture, various methods of horticulture, they are not uh, patentable. Then uh, uh, subsection I, uh, the process. Now, as I said, as, as I mentioned earlier, uh, medical treatments are done on uh, performed on humans or performed on the uh, animals they are not patentable in india as i said the focus or the uh, motive or the purpose of in uh, drafting the indian patent act 
uh, is to uh, avoid or is to uh, uh, re restrict monopoly of any form of uh, of any form of uh, business or monopoly of any form of uh, idea in the indian uh, on the indian soil so any process for medicinal surgical or curative uh, pro prophylactic, uh, prophylactic or diagnostic therapeutic on other treatment of human beings or any process for a similar treatment of animals to render them free of disease or to increase their economic value uh, or uh, that of their products so uh, here they are not patentable when when uh, when when i say uh, to increase their economic value uh, then it it also covers the area where genetic mutation happens so uh, cloning uh, it also covers the area of cloning where uh, uh, where uh, the uh, the entire uh, biological uh, uh, creature is developed from the existing uh, duplicate biological creature is developed by uh, genetic mutation uh, from uh, and it is developed from the existing uh, uh, creature so that 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 part is not covered uh, that that process is not patentable uh, then in order to improve the economic value uh, there is a breeding process in the uh, in the agriculture and animals in order to develop uh, the uh, in order to develop the out output of products uh, or in order to develop the value economical value of that uh, animals that uh, that process is not patentable uh, plants and animals in whole or any part of the uh, microorganisms but including seeds var uh, uh, varieties species uh, and essentially biological processes they are not patentable as i said a uh, biological process like cloning they are not patentable subsection j covers that then mathematical or business model computer program or algorithms they are not patentable in india uh, software uh, in any form cannot be patentable as a software it can be a part of a system but again it depends on case to case uh, how the examiner uh, pro uh, proceeds uh, uh, that particular uh, prosecutes that particular application based on that uh, uh, the, the that particular uh, software part or the element can be uh, patentable here directly general concept of a software algorithm and a program or the mathematical or business method it cannot be patentable literally art dramatic musical or artistic work uh, aesthetic other aesthetic creations or a cinema, cinematographic work or television productions they are not patentable all the tv films uh, tv uh, uh, shows or the uh, uh, cinematic work of uh, uh, shooting of that particular TV show or that particular film uh, that is not patentable. Then section M says uh, scheme rule or method of promoting mental uh, act or playing game. As I said, uh, this particular subsection M, uh, uh, L, and K. These three are uh, covered in uh, European patent law. Uh, they are uh, drafted according uh, the, the the source can be considered as the European patent law. Then N show, uh, covers the presentation for or of formation. Then uh, topography of uh, integrated circuits. Then <clears throat> the last one is the uh, traditional knowledge or which is an um, uh, aggregation or duplication of known properties of traditional known component or components. Here the traditional knowledge which is already there. Uh, then the duplication of the uh, that particular based on that uh, particular knowledge ideas which are uh, based on the traditional knowledge uh, or the duplication of the traditional knowledge they are not considered to be the patentable uh, according to the uh, patent law so these are the specific sections defined by the uh, indian patent act uh, to uh, uh, to define whether an idea is patentable or whether an idea is non-patentable according to these subsections examiner identifies whether idea uh, whether any particular idea falls in any of these subsection if it falls then it is rejected the uh, in the prosecution process 
if it doesn't fall in these particular sections then it is considered that a particular idea or the invention is considered to be the patentable uh, uh, patentable invention then uh, section 4 of uh, patent act the section 4 of patent act uh, is uh, has the uh, 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 inventions which are uh, dependent on the atomic energy Spe uh, the section 4 is uh, this particular section is also covered in the uh, us patent law and Euro united uh, european patent law <coughs> inventions which are dependent on uh, related to the atomic energy uh, the inventions which are dependent on the atomic energy uh, or they fall uh, or they fall uh, in the domain of atomic energy then they are uh, not not uh, patentable in india uh, according to the atomic energy act 1962 uh, so this is uh, uh, these are these were the uh, diff three different scenarios where we have seen that uh, the broadest one of all uh, patent uh, laws is the United States patent laws. Then European patent law is uh, can can be considered as a little narrow or little specific patent law where it tries to restrict certain areas uh, to be patentable. Then indian patent law which is uh, supposed to be more specific than european and united states patent law uh, in terms of uh, non patentable invention so uh, just just to take an uh, just to take an example i have uh, one case study uh, which is of uh, indian uh, um, which is an application filed by an indian uh, inventor uh, who uh, who has invented uh, an gravity wheel perpetual motion machine? Uh, so it is uh, it is it was uh, filed in 2002, uh, way back 20 years back, and the rejection uh, was according to a section 3A where uh, invention which is frivolous or which claims anything obviously contrary to well established natural laws, where uh, and it can be easily found uh, when we read the claim. We can easily identify that uh, that uh, power driving wheel, which is uh, which is which is a perpetual motion machine working on the gravity force. <clears throat> so the entire uh, concept is uh, focusing on the gravity, and it is dependent on the gravity, and it uh, and it revolves around the idea of a gravity. So that's why, uh, according to Section Three A. Uh, uh, according to section 3a it is uh, the patent uh, pat uh, this particular patent application was rejected by the indian patent office uh, stating the grounds that uh, it depends on the uh, natural laws so uh, <clears throat> Uh, this uh, I uh, I conclude my presentation with this uh, if anyone has any doubts please feel free to ask Dear participants, if you have any question, you can ask to sir. Otherwise, we'll conclude the session. Even you can ask in chat box. Sir, can we conclude the session? Yeah, sure, sure. We can conclude. Andral, sir, can we conclude the session? Yes, sure, sure. Thank you, thank you. Again, coolest good afternoon greetings to all. We have experienced a marvelous session by sir. It was a great pleasure to understand some valuable inputs regarding patentability and non-patentable non inventions even at different countries also. 
sir mentioned details about utility design copyright trade secret and trademark i am sure that all participants have thoroughly enjoyed today's session on behalf of organizing committee of department of mechanical engineering ag patel polytechnic institute solapur maharashtra i acknowledge the valuable contribution of today's expert person mr hari prasad matral i would like to thank you all participants who have attended today's session from google meet feedback and test link will be shared on whatsapp group within some time with the permission of all the dignitaries we would conclude today's session tomorrow will be the last day of this induction program with another new speaker thank you have a good day ahead thank you sir thank you thank you so much for listening to me for with, with very patience at this uh, afternoon and uh, thanks a lot for giving me an opportunity uh, to ma'am and thanks a lot uh, to everyone for listening me to with patience thank you thank you so much I have a great day thanks a lot sir for your wonderful session